dear students welcome to lesson on introduction to event management the objectives of the lesson are number 1 to learn the importance of event management 2 to understand the various event management opportunities 3 to know the various resources that help to manage events 4 to learn how to apply requirements based on events 5 to know how to use pr and social media tools to get best results in the course of time for an event managing everything by a single person or an organization has become difficult for want of time and resources every event has its exclusiveness and importance one rule may not apply to another we would have witnessed different events in our neighborhood or in public places every event has its own outlook and needs it is important therefore to know understand and equip oneself to cater to various requirements of events and plan appropriately event can be a public event a community event or a personal event whatever the event is the planning and execution differs from event to event this lesson will give you an understanding of the event management and its nitty gritties in the course of discussion we will also see how the events are perceived by individuals groups or companies we will also discuss how pr can help manage events smoothly events are always combined with marketing branding pr and advertising any event organized has to catch the attention of the public at large or the target audience therefore making the event more visible and heard one has to use all of these largely inevitably planning budgeting organizing and marketing the events of all sorts is event management and it has become an industry now that is events industry let us discuss the business of event management what is important to be remembered while conducting an event who are the target audience how to pool resources and what expertise is expected out of the event management company the origin of events dates back to ancient times with evidences of festivals ceremonies and gatherings in various cultures one religious festivals and ceremonies like the festival of osiris were celebrated in ancient egypt around 2500 bce olympic games theater performances and philosophical discussions in ancient greece around 500 bce public spectacles gladiatorial games and festivals like saturnalia in ancient rome around 100 bce religious events pilgrimages festivals and ceremonies have been an integral part of various religions such as the hajj in islam the jewish passover and the christian easter the origin and history of event management in india if you look at it can be traced back to these milestones ancient india religious festivals and ceremonies such as the kumbh mela were managed and organized with large crowds and logistics mughal era lavish weddings festivals and events were hosted and managed by the royal court pre independence british colonial events like horse races polo matches and ball were managed by event teams post independence india hosted international events like the asian games in 1951 and 1982 and the non aligned movement summit in 1983 requiring 
professional event management. 1980s and 1990s event management emerged as a distinct profession with companies like Wijcraft and EMA that is Event and Entertainment Management Association leading the way. 2000s India hosted large scale events like the Commonwealth Games in 2010 and the Indian Premier League 2008 further boosting the event management industry in India. Present day India's event management industry is valued at over 50,000 Indian rupees crores that is approximately 7 billion US dollars, dollars and continues to grow rapidly. The modern events industry has grown significantly with advancements in technology and marketing to become a significant sector in the global economy. Today, there are approximately 30,000 event management companies in India. However, the number of registered event managers is not publicly disclosed. Advertising agencies and PR agencies also undertake the task of managing the events as part of their business activities. For any established and new companies, event management is an important aspect of their marketing strategy. Organizing small scale or large scale events can help promote a brand and further a business interests. Events create opportunities for people who attend these events to learn about the hosting organizations, products and services and may even convert attendees into loyal customers at later stages. Like any other profession, event management also has various categories that needs expertise for example, public relations, marketing, advertising, branding, film release, audio release, poster release, birthdays, weddings, pre-weddings, managing celebrities, influencers, marriage anniversaries, etc. It includes brand activation, sports management, experiential marketing, community events, religious events, entertainment programs and virtual events, etc. One must fully understand what is the interest in any of these special occasions. Based on that, one can plan a checklist of what all goes into to make it successful. All events are result oriented. Understanding the nature of events will help to recruit manpower, outsource other resources and logistics. Public events are normally massive in size, example rallies and public meetings, exhibitions and road shows. Let us categorize events and discuss some of the important ones. 1. Public relations events. They are mostly all events that targets customers, stakeholders, associates, media and all investors and beneficiaries etc. It is mostly press conferences, product launches, companies announcement of any diversification. Event management plays a significant role in a company's ability to visualize events and follow through with their successful execution. As these events can influence the public perception of the company and its business. Competent uh, event managers are in demand across industries. 2. Corporate events. A corporate call for press conference when it has some announcement. Company's performance for the year goes as a press release. Annual general body meeting of the company needs better planning. Company invites its employees, stakeholders, investors and consumers and presents itself the company's activities over a period of time. It allows both the parties to engage in conversation regarding future plans. 3. Marketing, Advertising and Branding 
these events directly refer to any product or services. It also attracts investors and partners who would like to join the bandwagon of the product or services. Companies may want to associate with the well established brands. Success of the event is directly proportional to its marketing ideas. It must be attractive, creative, targeted and personal. Film release, audio release, launch of posters. These are entertainment events meant for the movie goers and funding associates. Such events focus on attracting people to go watch a movie and help pooling some funds for the completion of the movie or help in releasing and artist management. The first step in movie marketing process involves setting realistic goals for the project. Knowing the goals will motivate to keep promoting the film and help decide what promotional and distribution opportunities are worth pursuing or ignoring. Need to find out where the fans hang out normally and have five creative posters to attract them there. Personal events like marriages and anniversaries, etc. These are very private events that calls for a get together of family and friends. In this digital era, such events are organized in larger numbers that only an event management company can handle. Event photographers take the center stage in collaborating different activities into a memory. They take different plans being within the event to make it more interesting for the events to appreciate and enjoy. Event photography is a different business altogether. Events to manage celebrities and influencers. This is the new window for more opportunities in the market. Celebrities appoint their own PR managers to handle their appointments. Any promotional event that comes to the celebrity like appearing in public for shop inauguration or participation in any function are taken care by the PR manager. So is the case of influencers who are the people who acquired huge fan following and they influence their followers to appreciate their work or activities. They organize exclusive events to promote themselves through social media. Experiential marketing events. When it comes to work events, trade shows, promotional campaigns, people are not totally impressed with any brand. They rather connect with experiencing it. It is also called engagement marketing event. It invites audiences to interact with business using participatory, hands-on, tangible branding material to accept what the business means in real words. Community events. These days, gated communities celebrate any common function or important day together. They are New Year celebration, Ganesh Chaturthi like festivals and occasions. A team of people treat this as important event and plan a big celebration with huge funds collected, inviting DJs, mimicry artists, singers, etc. Food and entertainment are outsourced. Communities based on caste, religion, region also organize events for themselves like get-togethers. Religious events. Some festivals are celebrated in public places engaging communities. Festival specific venue, resources and arrangements are organized. These events are organized by the concerned religious organizations and in some cases state sponsored events where government directly involves in the planning and executing. Sports events, cricket, football, hockey, etc. events are organized not only nationally but globally. Olympics and Asian Games are organized in huge numbers and facilities. These events are state-owned, country-owned events 
where country deputes the players for any competition. The expenses are owned by the government or sponsors come forward to help it going. These events are hosted by the associations concerned and sponsored by the governments, business establishments also lay their hands as sponsors and promoters. Virtual events, webinars and online meetings are conducted by multinational companies who preferred connecting to their other offices easily without much of expenses of flying its employees to a common venue. Online education events also entered the market for those who choose to have continued education. In view of COVID-19 pandemic, the stage was set to allow everything to happen online, including examinations. These are called e-events. Several competitive exams are being conducted by outsourcing the work to the third party event managers. From all these events, we learn that marketing, branding and advertising are part of event management. It should be kept in mind that a well-organized event is the ticket to future business. Therefore, one must make it sure of certain things are ready with us before venturing into business. Hosting various types of events is a regular business practice for many organizations. Event management can be challenging as it requires a range of skills and specialized knowledge. Learning about how event management works can help organizations to develop proper efforts and resources to it. 1. Concept and designing of the event. It is important to have a concept or theme for any event. This will lead the entire planning of any event. It is like uh, sowing the seed and enable the plants grow. Logo of the flagship company is the brand that consumers will relate to. Image of the company is recalled with the help of the logo of the company. Similarly, image of the event also is recalled with its logo and concept. Along with this, the concept logo of the event will highlight its importance. Therefore, it is very important to conceive the idea of the event so that attractive design can be used in all communication and can be shared with the consumers. Core concept of the event is the differentiator from all other events. An event concept is the comprehensive theme or idea that gives the event its unique identity. In fact, it sets the event apart from the competition. It can be used as the blueprint for all the planning decisions from venue selection to marketing strategies, everything to be completed with the event concept in mind to create continuity. That means choosing the right venue for events vibe and ensuring that the marketing reflects the concept. A well-defined event concept and designing the communication accessories pertaining to that can simplify the planning process by providing a clear direction for all decisions. 2. Analysis of concept. Concept analysis technique focuses on events that are specified by customer. Five steps to analyze concepts of event management are 1. Coordination, 2. Concept, 3. Control, 4. Culmination and 5. Close out. Once the customer or client mentions any event that is forthcoming that needs management, event manager, be it an individual or a company, will focus on the purpose of the event, what is expected of the event, how to attract the audience, what is the budget allocated, how to manage that funds, where to invest the fund and whether it has yielded desired result, etc. 3 logistics of the concept. As explained earlier, any event can be managed only if certain things are kept ready. 
a checklist of venue options, vendor options, flexibility of timings, accessibility of different venue in case of uh, any eventuality, standby power resumption, plan B option of any site requirements, catering, tents, chairs and tables, on stage arrangements, vehicle parking facility, hospitality, earmarked seating arrangements, a strong plan of procurements and implementation as the event suggests. For any event to manage, one must write the script for the event, make a workable concept for the event and draw an event flow chart. Running or rehearsing the event flow many times before it takes off is a must. End to end practice is very important to handle a smooth flow of events. An event is planned based on what the client wants, plans and budget. Once this is clear, approaching the client is easier. Flow of events depends on number of activities that will be staged on the day of event. From inviting the guests, introduction to the event and its concept, speaker's note, activity of the day like announcement, launch, inauguration and the like. The event flow till the guests leave the venue. Every activity is time based. Movement on stage is scheduled prior to the event. Some of the basics that an event planning is based on are client meeting. Approach a client for business. First proposal from the event management company is to identify the client and meet to understand their requirements. Make a note of what event do they want when they want, who are their list of invitees, purpose of the event and the budget. These initial details will help work out a road map to the proposed event. Think smart is the mantra for good event organized. This acronym stands for specific, measurable, attainable, relevant and time bound. This could be a great approach to successful event. Skills. One has to have the skill to grasp and understand the purpose and needs of the event. They must have communication and networking skills, must be computer savvy, must be able to use digital platform, must maintain good relationship with media and related references, flexibility, listening skills, organizational skills, ability to keep calm under pressure and most importantly the passion for work. Resources. One must have a consolidated data of resources that any event will need such as list of venues, list of vendors, list of media, list of manpower suiting the event, stage arrangements team including podium if required, mics, lights, etc., outdoor planners, creative team and last but not the least crisis management team. Sponsorship team is also a must. Research. Good research on latest happenings in the area, data and information can help in planning an event so that the creativity is not repeated. Market research is a part of any event management. This will help understand the taste of people, wants and anticipation of clients, customers. The event will earn better mileage and coverage if proper research is done and kept updated. So the event management companies must keep a track of the latest news and views on a daily basis. Persons are required to monitor print media and electronic media while a person exclusively for a digital platform. Any event needs to be customized based on requirements of the company. What are the requirements? Every individual event, big or small, means business. In any business, it means money. So the client will look for value for the money spent. 
Therefore, it calls for a meticulous planning from check-in to check-out. We can discuss an event here to understand the flow of event in order to understand its requirements. Let us think a client wants to organize an event to influence its customers. This client wants to increase its customer base and plan a suitable event to launch. Let us imagine a health drink for kids. First thing that comes to our mind is kids up to the age group of 12. So, start doing research on what are the other health drinks in the market. Find out its ingredients, study its research in the market pricing, etc. Compare those data with the client's product. Inform the client based on his feedback, plan a bouquet of things that the event may need, like meeting few random kids in that age group, engaging them in a conversation to understand what do they expect from a health drink. If the present drink gives them a satisfaction or not, find out what more they expect from an another product if they want to gift. These are the basics of a market research. You will arrive at conclusion by now. Go to the client and share the result of the research for them to understand where they stand in their product details. Now propose the ideas to organize the event along with budget. You can also get the client's budget and plan accordingly. Keep a planner, quality check machinery, ongoing event flow machinery, resources like vendors, media list, venue, podium, mics, design of the backdrop, other infrastructure in place, seating, visitors parking, etc. After the event was over, have an overview of the event with the client. Keep the account of the expenses update and ready to share with the client. Fabrication and audio visual equipment. Any event need an attractive background that can speak about the event. Crafting a captivating design as backdrop is a creative job. Also some pavilions and stalls if needed. This is also called stage design. It involves both designers and engineers to collaborate to erect a stage. Audio visual requirement is a must for any event. These are normally outsourced for any event. LCD projector, sound systems, mics do come as audio visual equipment. Sponsorships for events. Event management companies are sometimes expected to procure sponsorships for the event. Huge events like cricket matches, sponsors automatically offer to share their chunk in order to earn good visibility to their products or services. The challenge is the spacing of their advertisements in a way that every few minutes they are watched by audiences. It becomes challenging for the event managers to strike a deal with the multiple sponsors for a single event that may be a day long or over the period of a few days. Delegation of work and coordination. In any organization, there will be different departments or team people to handle different works. Event management company is no exception to it. It must have departments or teams to take care of creativity, planning, logistics, customer care, crisis management, vendors, sponsorships, etc. Apart from this, there will be a coordinator who will work hand in hand with departments internally and the company. This is a crucial job that needs supervising the team's work in progress and overseeing on ground work. Coordinator is responsible for the free flow of events. He will monitor the activities on the D-Day and see that no lapse arises. If it may be, then immediately see that it is attended. Event management is a specialized profession. 
it has multiple sides of work to specialize in people with creative and critical thinking capacity coupled with the ability to communicate with various people to get the job done good planner and executor event management is a domain expertise that needs to be imbibed naturally and then groomed with serious training and practice initially anyone can join an event management company as apprentice and try to learn jobs of different departments work after spending some solid time in all departments over the period of at least 5 years one can start their own one must be ready with the infrastructure required manpower resources in hand before venturing into the business simultaneously one must get a customer to have good relationship with media vendors venue owners tent suppliers audio visual suppliers etc all these comes with a passion for the work event management takes a broader view it encompasses the planning phase but extends to the fulfillment monitoring and closure of the event an event planner or manager oversees the entire course of the event ensuring that the vision becomes a reality they manage units handle unexpected business challenges and ensure that the event aligns with the expensive business goals and objectives thank you for listening